Windows 11 is here, and although Microsoft is of course promising the moon as usual, there are some changes from Windows 10 that you might not be super thrilled about. Imagine that. So here are five features that we think it's a good idea for you to go and tweak right now if you've already installed Windows 11. It's impossible not to notice how the icons on the taskbar, including the start button, are now aligned to the center of the screen. Maybe Microsoft is trying to copy macOS, or maybe they just thought it looked prettier, but regardless of what the real reason was, many folks immediately wondered if they could just put everything back to the left. Turns out, you sure can. Just open up the settings app and you'll see a personalization and taskbar menu. Choose that, then hit taskbar behaviors, and you'll see an option to align everything to the left, as God intended. Our next tip will address another feature that's frustrating for power users, the new right-click context menu in Windows Explorer. Microsoft tried to simplify it by putting common options like copy, paste, delete, and rename up top as icons, but other options such as send to and create shortcut are hidden now, so you might wanna get the old style menu back if you find yourself missing those. Unfortunately, there's not a simple switch in the settings app for this, so you'll need to do a little digging around in, you guessed it, the registry. Fortunately, it's just a matter of creating a new key in the right spot and tweaking a couple of values. We're gonna link full instructions for how to do this down in the video description, so you can copy and paste the correct values instead of trying to type them out yourself. Moving on, it's not surprising that Windows 11 features some icons on the taskbar for Microsoft services you may have no interest in using. Probably the most obvious of these is Chat, which is a new app that's kind of like Microsoft Teams, except it's geared more towards users than businesses and organizations. <laughs> nice try, Microsoft. But most of your users probably rely much more on a chat app like Signal or Telegram or WhatsApp and simply have no use for Microsoft Chat. So that icon is just wasting space on your taskbar. To remove it, just go to your settings app, go to personalization, then taskbar. You'll find an options group that lets you show or hide taskbar buttons. Just disable chat to reclaim that space. We'll tell you about our next week right after we thank Hetzner Cloud for sponsoring this video. Hetzner offers high performance cloud servers for an unmatched price to performance ratio. Their clean cloud console, say that five times fast, web interface can be used to create new cloud servers quickly and easily. And customers can use the interface for a wide variety of features such as block storage or load balancers and more. And just a couple of days ago, the first US location in Ashburn, Virginia was launched for all cloud servers with AMD processors. The cloud data center in Ashburn is open for a variety of applications, so check them out at the link below and use code TECHQUICKIE21 for 20 bucks off. Now, let's talk a bit about the start menu. Gone is the big list of folders and shortcuts we've been used to since the days of Windows 95. With the new start menu relying a lot more on keyword searchers and automatically recommended shortcuts based on your usage patterns. But you can still pin frequently accessed system folders like downloads and documents to the new start menu if you'd like. In your settings app, go to personalization, then start, then folders, where you can toggle what you'd like to see on and off. Unfortunately, it looks like the registry tweaks that some people were using to bring back the Windows 10 start menu and pre-release builds of Windows 11 no longer work. Bummer. But we saved possibly the most consequential tweak for last, disabling virtualization-based security, or VBS. In a nutshell, VBS is an advanced security feature that has been documented to slow down performance, particularly in gaming. And while VBS shouldn't be an issue if you've upgraded from Windows 10, it can actually be enabled by default if you do a clean install of Windows 11 or if you bought a PC that ships with it. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to turn off if you know what to look for. In the settings app, go to privacy and security, then Windows security, then device security. You should see something that says core isolation details. Click that, then toggle off the switch under memory integrity. See what I meant about knowing what to look for? Restart your computer and VBS should be disabled. You can confirm this actually by checking Windows's, Windows's, Windows system information app. What are your pro tips for Windows 11? Let us know in the comments below, but it would really be nice if Microsoft could just give us what we want in the first place, wouldn't it? So thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment section with your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future.